The Audiophonics iSaber DAC version 3 for the Raspberry Pi cost almost twice the price of the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus Professional. And now you want to know if it's worth the money. Looking for an affordable linear power supply, I came across the French company Audiophonics. They do have an affordable linear power supply, but that was temporarily out of stock. But they also offered a complete audio and video player based on the Raspberry Pi for only 249 euros. Next to the Raspberry Pi you get a fancy looking compact housing that carries a two line display and a power button on the front. The rear holds not only the USB and net network connections of the Raspberry Pi, but also the power input, the analog stereo outputs of the DAC and the HDMI. Audiophonics DAC iSabre version 3.0 ES9023TCXO is a mouthful. But it does exactly say what it is, a DA converter in its third incarnation using the ESS ES9023B DA converter chip and a time compensated crystal oscillator. Apart from these specs, two other properties caught my attention. The analog outputs on the RCAs are located at the same side where the Raspberry Pi has its USB and network connections and even more interesting, on that side there is also a power socket. Where with the Raspberry Pi I had to add a print header to feed the board directly from the linear power supply. It appears that the Audiophonics DAC has no power connection with the Raspberry Pi, so the latter has to be fed separately. For instance with the standard switching power supply for the Raspberry Pi. This is good news, since the Raspberry Pi can't contaminate the power supply of the DAC board. For those that like to connect a display over the GPIO, like the display used by Audiophonics for their housing, there is good news too. The GPIO connection points needed are doubled at the edge of the board opposite to the audio outputs. Also remarkable is the heavy quality of the print and the perforation of the unused parts of the print. Of course I compared the Audiophonics DAC with the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus Professional. Click the link in the top right corner to see the Hi-Fi Berry review. I seldom talk about it, but I always measure all devices I review. But this time I will show you the noise spectrum of both the Audiophonics and the Hi-Fi Berry. Up to 35 kHz the Hi-Fi Berry is over 10 dB more silent than the Audiophonics but above 35 kHz the Hi-Fi Berry is a lot noisier. In theory you might think that the Hi-Fi Berry offers more low level detail, but in reality the Audiophonics beats the Hi-Fi Berry on that point. It also sounds cleaner, more open, has a wider and deeper stereo image. This is truly a better DAC than the Hi-Fi Berry. The Audiophonics iSaber, to keep it short, is a very good sounding DAC, somewhere in set 2 quality above the Hi-Fi Berry but clearly below the Mojo. This might be partly due to the separate power supply, but I have used the Hi-Fi Berry with the same linear power supply connected to the print header I soldered on the board. Another big advantage is that all connections are on the same side as the Raspberry Pi's USB and network connections. That makes it a lot easier to build in a housing since all connections except for HDMI and power for the Raspberry Pi are on one side. The HDMI is not needed for audio and the power supply can easily be transferred to another location in the housing. Audiophonics even added an ATX like power management that allows for a button on the front of the housing to switch down the Raspberry Pi so there will be no damaged files on the SD card like there can be if you simply unplug the power supply. Depending on the application all these things might not be needed, but if they are and sound quality is valued, the price tag of 75 euros 90 is more than reasonable. As I mentioned 
many alternatives will come to market in the near future. So if you want to remain informed, subscribe to this channel, follow my Facebook or Google Plus page or my Twitter account. You can also post questions there. You'll find the information below this video on YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. I'm Hans Beekhuizen for the HB channel. Thank you for watching and see you the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.